Hello, welcome so much for coming to Ariel's Usborne Books and More Party. I am so excited to share with you these amazing books. Let me share some with you now. For some of the kiddos, I love That's Not My Kitten. This is great for newborn babies. Every page has textures for the child to find and touch and they will find them so easily. The text is predictable and it really helps them to learn language and that rhythm. This is the That's Not My series. There are 50 different animals in this series, so choose your favorite. For babies, we also have the Slide and See series. On every page, there is a place for the child to place their fingers and move the picture on the page. Even my nine-year-old son loves picking up these books and playing with them because it's just fun. We have another series for babies called the Finger Trail Book, and on every page there's a place for the child to place their finger and to follow the trails. It really gives a lot of sensory input and extra um, interest while reading the book and finding them new ways to engage and follow the story. It also includes fun flaps. So this is from our Finger Trail series. Another series is the Don't Tickle series. In Don't Tickle, it's a lot like the um, Don't, um, that's not my series because every page has textures on it. But if you turn the book on, then every page on the textures, when you touch it, it makes a noise also for the animals, which is just another added um, sense using your hearing in addition to touch to enjoy the book. When you're done with the sounds, you turn it off and then it's back to just a plain book. We have tons of flaps, which just make reading so fun. Here's the um, ocean animals, flippy flappy. On every page, there are very thick flaps that will not rip. And when you flip all the flaps over on a page, it creates a brand new animal. This is another fun nonfiction book, ocean animals, flippy flappy. I love Upside Down Sid. This is one of our picture books that is great for enjoying as a family. This is a story about the main character whose name is Sid and he lives his life upside down. And he's very sad and depressed about his life being upside down. But as you go through the story, you eventually find out that it's not always a bad thing to be upside down and that there are times when it would be good to be upside down. You'll have to read the story to find out when would it be good to be upside down. Another picture book I love is called I Want to Dance. This is our main character, and this rabbit decides they want to be a ballerina, but they can't because they're a rabbit. And so they, he's looking longingly at the dance studio, and here he is peeking into the window at the dance studio, peeking in, and eventually works up his courage to be able to go to the dance studio and join the people in becoming a ballerina. What will the other rabbits think of him learning ballet? I love this story, Steve, Terror of the Seas. At the beginning of the story, Steve says, I'm a scary fish. And you look at him and you think, why is he scary? He's so little. But throughout the story, you'll see examples of the fish running away from him because he's so scary. And you're wondering to yourself, why are these animals and they also show a person running away from him. Why are they so scared of him? And at the very end of the book, you find out why, because you meet Steve's best friend, the shark. It's a very fun, silly story. Our most popular selling book of all time is Nibbles the Book Monster. Nibbles is this character. At the beginning of the story, they say, do you want to let him out? Do you? Do you? So you let him out, and when you let him out into the story, he literally nibbles or chews his way through the book. There are real holes in this. And he nibbles his way into three fairy tale stories, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You can see how Goldilocks feels about Nibbles being in her story. This is a very fun, interactive book to enjoy. And there are other books in the Nibbles series as well. My personal favorite is Nibbles Numbers. It has the same concept where you let Nibbles out and Nibbles goes and chews through his numbers. So it's a fun, original way to teach kiddos their numbers. Nibbles Numbers. Another type of book that we have for preschoolers that is fun are these reusable sticker books. So in the very beginning of the story, there are these reusable stickers that are very thick. They will not rip. If they become unsticky, you just run them in cold water. And in this story, Kisses, Cuddles, and Goodnight, your child is going to take the sticker and find the right animal to match it to to put that animal to sleep. So I'm looking here for a chicken. It's the last one in the story, of course. Here's the chicken. I'm gonna give him his stuffed animal, kiss him goodnight, and send him to sleep. 
If you have a beginner reader, like kindergarten, first grade, I suggest our phonics readers. These books are amazing because they follow the rules that are taught in kindergarten and first grade. They're simple stories, they're fun, they're silly, they include a lot of rhyming, but they focus on the vowel patterns that are taught in kindergarten and in first grade. You can buy these titles individually for $6.99, or I personally recommend buying them in this hardback binding for $14.99 because in here you can get five different titles. So this book is called Giraffe in the Bath and Other Tales. And in this book, I can get Giraffe in the Bath, Chimp with a Limp, Spider in a Glider, Hyena Ballerina, Seal at the Wheel, and Ape's Great Escape. This is a really great deal and wonderful for beginning readers. We really um, knocked over my books. <laughs> we are very strong with our nonfiction books. So let me show you a fun, some of those and the fun ways that we use to show kids these nonfiction books. This is from our Shine a Light series. These are books that are read with a flashlight. When you shine a flashlight behind the picture, it will reveal a secret image. So you see how the pictures are in black and white. So when you shine a light through, it will reveal the snowflake on this page. It's a very fun way to learn about nonfiction. I also um, love our beginner readers. This is one called Living in Space. These are designed for students in like first, second grade reading level. They have a lot of great nonfiction information, but it's really designed in bite-sized pieces and just very interesting topics to motivate students to learn and practice their nonfiction reading skills. For even younger kiddos, like ages two to four, we have the Peek Inside series. This is How Does a Plane Work? And on every page, there are flaps for the child to lift and answer questions about the airplane. Who works in the airplane? Where does the luggage go in the airplane? What's behind the propeller here in there? What's, where's the jet engine? And so just lots of flaps to answer those questions that your kiddos would have. For a little bit older child, there's the Look Inside series. This would be for ages like four to six. This is Look Inside Animal Homes. Every page, again, has those flaps, very fun flaps, sometimes flaps within flaps, just answering lots of questions and making that information bite-sized and digestible for your kids to be able to learn. For older children, we have the 100 Things to Know About series. There are 10 books in this series about different topics, planet Earth, history, science, food, I think that sounds so interesting, numbers, and every page is full color and has very interesting facts. Right now we have the one, um, 100 things to know about food at my dining room table that we read while we are eating dinner and enjoy just discussing the absurdity of these crazy facts that you will learn um, in reading these books. So this is great for a reluctant leader, reluctant reader, or an older child in your life. We also have taken a lot of the classic stories and turn them into graphic novels. So graphic novels are like comic books, they're full color, they are glossy pages, which my son who reads graphic novels says is important, and it tells the stories like Robin Hood, Three Musketeers, Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland, Thor, just a variety of wonderful stories, great for your older reader and also for a reluctant reader. We do have tons of chapter books that I would be happy to tell you about if you are interested in shopping for chapter books. The most recent favorite one in our family is the Bear Grylls story. Don't want to lose my son's place there. He's got a bookmark. This is a story about Bear Grylls who goes on adventures. It's also based on a TV show that's on um, Netflix and Prime. And you get to go, like in this one, the Earthquake Challenge. It's a very fun, engaging book for 7 to 10 year olds. We also have a ton of activity books. I can't not tell you about these activity books because they're amazing. Let me grab them. All right, the first one I want to show you is our stained glass coloring books. These books have every page is vellum. This one, my kids have done most of them already. They're vellum, so they're see-through. So after your child colors them, then you rip it out and you hang it in the window and it looks just like stained glass. It's amazing. We also have these magic painting books that are so much fun. Magic painting books, there are about 20 in this series. This is Under the Sea. Every page is black and white, and when you take the paintbrush and a dab of water, you are able to create beautiful pictures like here on the cover. Here is one that my kids have done that I saved so I can show you. They are fun for literally all ages, one-year-old through adults. I enjoy doing them myself. 
We have many wipe clean books that work with a dry erase marker. These are great for practicing pen control, for practicing basic skills such as letter formation, number formation, cursive, multiplication, division, fractions, um, dot to dots, playing games, mazes, a whole variety of skills for a variety of ages in the dot to dot, or sorry, in the wipe clean books. We have amazing puzzles. Our puzzles come in a variety of number of pieces from 24 up to 200. The pieces are very thick. They're easy to put together and they're just enjoyable to put together um, if you are a puzzle person. Each puzzle also comes with a book and the book is like a game book where it's got like seek and find, kind of like where's Waldo, things to spot and find on every page. But these are just really super quality puzzles that your child will definitely love and would make a great gift. The final thing I want to show you is our pullback books. These are so unique. I had never seen one like this before. In the book, you get at the very last page is a vehicle. You can choose a helicopter, you can choose a car, train, whatever mode your or transportation your child likes. And on each page, there are these different tracks that you can actually make the car, it's like a toy, with the book go on. So I just pull back and I stick it on the track and look out, it goes around. This is so much fun. My kids wake up early every morning to play with these books because they are just amazing. So these are in the pullback and there's also a wind up car um, series as well with these. I just dropped some more books on my toes. <laughs> I'm so excited to continue partying with you. I'll be back with you to party in just a moment.